Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another dish of Zach on Sports. I'm your host, Zach Gershman. Um, start off by saying this. I haven't made a video for two months. Um, had a lot of work to do. A lot of catching up to do. But I'm back, and it's going to be a good episode, this one. All right, so we got a bunch of stuff we could talk about today. We could talk about the NFL Combine. We could talk about Phillies reporting in spring training. And we could talk about the 76ers. Not about their losing, but about their new slogan and campaign and all of their stuff for next season. So why don't we do all of them in this one episode? Make it really nice and quick. All right, let's start off by the Sixers. Um, they started their they started uh the season with the slogan "Together We Build," and we thought, well, I thought this was going to be the slogan for the upcoming seasons as they rebuild the roster. But next season, they're already thinking that they're rebuilt, and they're starting, and this is the new slogan, This Starts Now, featuring Joel Embiid, Nolan's Noel, and the first-round draft picks that they get next year. Um, they're also going to be releasing new uniforms, which is going to be really interesting. I they re- The 76ers released a trailer on Twitter. It was a mixture of Julius Irving, Wilt Chamberlain, and Billy Cunningham. And I think that they're going to combine those three jerseys into one, which is going to be really interesting. Hopefully it's a nice jersey. And a uh, new slogan. I, I really, I, I know as a fact, they copied Golden State Warriors. Their, gold, their, their new logo says Sixer City, Sixer City, with... Uh, with the uh, with some buildings sticking out of it, it's it's the worst logo I think this team's ever made. Well, I can really tell I'm a Philadelphia sports fan. I'm very opinionated. Um, well, I mean, I like the slogan. Just I don't think it fits in. This starts now when they haven't even rebuilt it completely yet. Uh, ooh, we could also since we're talking about the Sixers, we could also talk about the trade deadline. What happened there? But let me just quickly finish this up. Uh, this starts now. Hopefully, they, they think. Hopefully, they think when they start now that they're championship contenders, like they thought they were gonna be once they rebuilt. Um, let's go over to the trade deadline. Uh, Sixers made some moves. Were they good moves? Not necessarily. Um, 76ers started off the day, uh, out of all the NBA teams, started off the day with trading a D-League player, not a D-League, a player from the Turkish Leagues, and they traded him for JaVale McGee, the Shaq and the Fool legend, and a first-round draft pick. Uh, I would tell you who this Turkish player is, but I can't pronounce his name, so I'll, I'm not going to even try it. But they it's a, it was a good move. I, I like that move because they got a first-round pick in, I forget what year, I think it's 2016. They got a big man that could that could help while Joel Embiid's on the bench injured. I'd be surprised if he plays this year. But that was the star move for the Sixers. Then the next move they made, Michael Carter-Williams getting traded. And it was a very confusing trade. It was Michael Carter Williams, uh, somebody else, and another person. I don't have my notes with me, so I, I would be able to if I had my notes. But Michael Carter Williams is going to the Milwaukee Bucks, and the Phoenix Suns are getting Brandon Knight, and 76ers getting second round draft picks. Um, when you want to rebuild, I don't think second round draft picks is the way to go. It's mainly for first round draft picks. But the thing I like about this, I mean, there's clearly negatives and positives. The thing I like about this, it's draft picks, not draft pick. So, I mean, they got some, some picks out of it, which, which is good. Then, uh, they also traded in this move, I did not like. I was okay, I was okay with the Michael Carter-Williams trade. This one I did not like. 
KJ McDaniels, a future star in this league. I'm calling you right now. Future star in this league, KJ McDaniels, got traded to the Rockets for Isaiah Cannon. And Isaiah Cannon is a somewhat NBA caliber player. He he could start on the Sixers roster without a doubt. But he's a somewhat NBA caliber player. Uh, the reason why I don't like this, as I just said, KJ McDaniels is going to be a star player in the NBA. I mean, he's already made highlight reel dunks and uh, on ESPN almost every single week with with the crazy dunk. I mean, against Golden State, he threw it off the backboard and went for a self alley-oop. But that was Sam Hinkie's worst move. Um, yeah, so that's really it for the Sixers. Uh, NFL Combine was uh, was really interesting. I was really today was uh, the cornerbacks. And I didn't have a chance to watch, and that's what this that's what the Philadelphia Eagles really need. They need us they need they need to improve their secondary. I mean, Kerry Williams, Bradley Fletcher, they are not starting cornerbacks. I and also Billy Davis and Chip Kelly do not like Brandon Boykin. Brandon Boykin led the league last two years ago with with uh with like a bunch of interceptions, a bunch of tackles. And he was second in the league in interceptions. So, I don't know why they didn't play him at all this year. Uh, just because they don't like him? Who knows, but... Uh, combine, draft. I mean, uh, combine the cornerbacks. They're going to need to draft... A, the Eagles are going to need to draft the cornerback. I prefer Trey Waynes from Michigan State, but he most likely is going to go in the top ten. And uh, we could possibly get... Uh, what's his name? Marcus Peters from uh from Washington, and there's there's a bunch of good cornerbacks we could get. So there's that, and then in the NFL combat, the other thing I was looking at is the quarterbacks. There, the Eagles. I think that they're gonna draft cornerback the, a quarterback in the second round, and that quarterback is gonna be Brett Hundley. If Brett Hundley's not there in the second round, they're going to go for a wide receiver, and they're going to get Jalen Strong, the Philadelphia kid. I, I, I really like this player. He he had a really good draft. He had a really good NFL combine. I don't know why I keep saying draft combine, but he had a great NFL combine, and it was just good all around. Um, Brett Hundley ran a good 40. Marcus Mariota, who the Eagles are desperately trying to get, ran a really, really, really good forty. Uh, they on NFL Network they compared him to Jameis Winston, who also has the chance of being a number one overall pick to, to go to the Tampa Bay Bucks. And Jameis Winston basically ran a five flat, and Marcus Mariota ran a four point like five, something something really good. And it was. I mean, if the Eagles get Marcus Mariota, I'd be fine with it, but that's only if he drops down to number 20. I'm not trading. I would not trade Nick Foles away. I would not trade O'Shawn McClay away, and I definitely would not ruin this future by trading our first-round draft picks for the for the upcoming draft. No way is that happening. No way. And that's really it for the for the Eagles. Now let's finish this off by going to the to our fight in Phil's. My, my property of... Phillies baseball t-shirt. Uh, Majestic Clubhouse. I had to put that out there. Um, well, spring training started. Pitchers and catchers reported. And in eight days, the Phillies played their first spring training game against, like, some university. And there's some, quote-unquote, controversy going on. Uh, Cole Hamels reportedly, actually, not reportedly, he did report that he does not want to be on the Phillies. He wants to be on a championship contender team and that the Phillies is not a team he he belongs on. Um, not a smart move, Cole. Not a smart move. Uh, I mean, you're still on the Phillies. You can't just trash and say, oh, I, I, you can't just trash talk and say, oh, I don't want to be on this team even if I'm on it. I mean, especially in this type of town, type of city where... The fans love their baseball team. You cannot say that because they're just going to turn on you in a split second. I I already turned on Cole. I'm I'm not in the mood. For, I'm not in the mood for that. 
Uh, that's really it for Phillies. He just started spring training. Hopefully, they have a good season. But the management already said that they're not contending. Uh, Phillies, check out my Dan Baker interview. Phillies PA announcer. And that's really it for this episode. I try to combine all the stuff I missed and put into this one episode. So that's really it. I'm... Uh, I'll be back next week. Hopefully, I'll find something really good to talk about. And that'll be it. Alright, guys. See you next time. This episode of Zach on Sports was sponsored by Recruit Me Technology. Today's technology, tomorrow's athlete. Get mobile, get scanned, get recruited. For more information, visit RecruitMe.com. That is R-E-Q-R-U-I-T-M-E dot com.